air conditioning grass to grow in a desert? How will Qatar create a carbon neutral World Cup? The 2022 World Cup is happening in Qatar. It's a controversial move with many upset about ongoing human rights concerns, but it's also supposed to be the first carbon neutral World Cup and Qatar reportedly is working towards this. It has announced sustainable building guidelines using solar powered lighting and air quality monitoring, lowering water consumption, minimizing waste, and implementing public transit. The country also says it'll offset any remaining carbon emissions, but even with these initiatives, some people are scratching their heads. Qatar is notoriously hot and water scarce. A good amount of the country's water has to come from desalination, which is an energy intensive process. Reportedly, each of the eight stadium pitches requires more than 2,000 gallons of desalinated water daily in the winter, and more than 13,000 gallons in the summer. That doesn't include the grass on the 136 training grounds or the 40 soccer pitches worth of backup turf growing nearby. The groundskeepers will also have to blast cold air on the grass to mimic winter so that the grass is durable enough to survive the wear and tear of a soccer tournament. So is the 2022 World Cup really going to be carbon neutral or is this just greenwashing?